Destination reached. Scylla.
I'll keep quiet. What have the solar winds deposited on my doorstep now? Just more dirt and debris? Or do you actually believe you are here seeking the truth? I must admit, I tire of the truth seekers. Mayhaps you're here to rob me? That would be so much more exciting. We've been told this was once yours. I believe the knowledge within here contains the answers I seek. Answers that will free men's minds from toil. I can translate it, but it won't do you any good. I can see you are a man in a hurry, and the insights in that book would take you years of study to fully comprehend. I have spent my life in contemplation. I believe my mind is prepared to receive the truth. There is one way that can speed up the process. It involves a combination of several ingredients, some of which can be fatal. It is not for the faint of heart or the unprepared. A crass way to put it, but yes. Chemicals that can expand or destroy the participant's consciousness. Either hallucinations followed by unconsciousness and a headache, or raving insanity, which can be fun in its own way. And I believe he may be right. There is both violence and peace warring inside you, Max. This process would be extremely tenuous for one such as yourself. I'm committed, no matter the cost. All right, head on into the meditation room and partake of the sacramental incense. It's waiting on the table when you're ready to begin. I have dreamed of this moment for years. Soon, the answers will be in my hands.
Why are you still doing this? You've been fighting against the world since before you left home. Haven't you figured out yet that the more you fight, the more pain you cause yourself? Mother. You're dead. You can't be here. I knew this was too good to be true. These are just cheap hallucinogens that have... <clears throat> what's happening to my voice? Does my voice sound weird to you? And what's wrong with your face? Danger! Harmful vapors can lead to permanent brain damage. We are obviously the victims of a tasteless joke being perpetuated... Uh, uh, perpetrated? Uh, I mean, we're being made fools of, aren't we? When I get out of here, I'm going to show that hermit what you get for messing with me. Maximilian, always ready to give up, to lash out. Always searching for answers, but always in the wrong place. Never looking inside himself. Danger! Harmful vapors can lead to permanent brain damage. Thank you. It relieves me to see there's at least one positive influence in my son's life after all these years. Has he told you how he thoughtlessly abandoned us? Thoughtlessly? How could you say that? I only wanted you and Father to be proud of me. I was going to be the perfect vessel. I was going to be a better... more full of the plan. This here, it's all coming out wrong. The plan. It filled you with a joy I could never feel. I wanted it. And being a laborer made me miserable. I was better than that. You certainly convinced yourself you were. But don't feel bad. We continually lie to ourselves, weaving stories in a vain attempt to convince us that we are in control of anything. These stories are how we try to make sense of our lives, but they are not real, are they? They're just stories. You need to drop your story and see the truth. Danger! Harmful vapors can lead to Permanent brain damage. What the fuck are you talking about? I just wanted to prove to my parents that I... that... I, damn it. You're right. Max, you need to lay the past to rest. What happened with your father and I, it's long dead. To attain your goals, you must live in the chaos. Be fine with the chaos. Whether you resist or not, it will take you wherever it wants. More assuredly than even the fictional architect's plan you sleep away to prove. No, that's not true. The basis of everything is order, not chaos. It's true, I know it is. So did you. Why are you denying it? Before you died, the plan made you happy. No, it didn't. I made myself happy. There's nothing holding you back but you. If you can't understand that, you will never understand anything. Goodbye, Maximilian. This whole thing, it's... it's... it's just a farce, right? Just... just my own brain working against me? You couldn't be more right. Hello, Max. What? Why do you look like me? Are you me? 
Not really. I'm who you think you are. I am disciplined, controlled. I have no doubts, and I don't exist. Yet you have judged yourself against me your whole life. Why? Why do you berate yourself for not being me? Thank you, Captain, but I just... I don't know. Is it wrong to try to be a gooder, better person than I am? But that's not what you're doing, is it? You're desperately trying to find a story to organize reality in your head. A story to control everything. A new story of the happy you. The contented you. Me. That's not... Uh, it can't be like that. I've only been searching for the answer to the equation, but because it will set us free, won't it? How? By removing the need to make any decision. To have your life completely controlled. The illusion of certainty. Your obsession allowed you to avoid the real question. Who are you? Max, me, I'm real. You can't convince me otherwise. Please don't convince me I'm not. Error, error, error. Uh, uh, unable to pro pro process conflicting optical stimuli. completely. What you're saying almost makes sense. We exist inside our thoughts, thinking we're in control. That's it, isn't it? We have no control over anything. It's all lies. How could I not have seen this? But how do we escape our... ourselves? I see you're back with us. Feared we lost you there. Never seen anyone pass out yet stay upright before. I... woke up. The illusions I built for myself just fell away. I'm no longer interpreting, I'm... experiencing. Everything... is perfect. In a way, perhaps it's more accurate to say I was asking the wrong questions. I understand so much more now. I see it all. All there is to be experienced, to be lived. Of course there is pain and loss, but the suffering is caused by trying to control reality. Clinging to the way you want things to be, not enjoying the way they are. I am content. I've finally found what I was looking for. 
even though I was looking for the wrong thing. So, have you found your answers? Not so much found as finally listened. Yes, it is quite the convoluted maze we build for ourselves. It looks like you learned something in there as well. Hearing that brings me great joy, my friend. Some crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. I definitely won that round. You always seem to, huh? That's because I'm usually right. Next time I work the scorecard. We're in orbit over Cascadia, Captain.
Unit was unable to complete scheduled sanitization service due to the following reason. Locked door. That's quite all right, Sam. I prefer to clean my own quarters these days. I find it a perfect time to reflect on the impermanence of existence. Warning. Refusing the service of a SAM unit will be reflected on your permanent record.
Nicely done. Great work. This town must have looked mighty grand when it was built. Dispensing body bags.
Some crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. We are now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. Rottener than we call forced. Big surprise. Since we're in Byzantium, there's something I've been meaning to do. I haven't actually talked to my folks in a while. Shocking, right? Anyway, it's probably about time I paid them a visit. Given the dangerous life I lead, they've got to be worried sick. Whoa, let's calm down. I'm not asking for a favor or anything. I'm just suggesting we stop by. When we're in the neighborhood. See, I'm originally from Byzantium, born and raised. I know that probably comes as a big surprise. But I worked so hard! I dropped the accent, picked up a swagger, developed a taste for Spacer's choice. Huh. Well, I bet they won't know the difference. I bet they'll barely recognize me. Well, I was thinking you'd come too. Great! And when we get there, draw out your rough edges a bit. If you've got an outfit you haven't washed in a while, maybe one with some blood stains, wear that one. You're the boss. Anything else? What did I tell you? 
His down with the man shtick was just an act. No one who yammers that much means half of it. Take a page out of my rule book. Don't trust anyone. Then it's easy. Don't get all mushy on me now. Come on, what did we just learn? People look out for their own interests. It's a fundamental law of nature, same as gravity and conservation of motion. Sure I can. In fact, I bet you I live a lot longer. I'm warning you, that reverse psychology stuff doesn't work on me. Sure do. And unlike you, Captain, the rest of us don't get a big fancy room with wall-to-wall -wall windows. But let's forget about that, please. Anyway, you really want to tell me you're helping the scientist because you think he'll save the colony? And here I thought I'd seen it all. This galaxy must be bigger than I'd thought. Enough about Harlow, though. Anything else? I sure hope you negotiated for a raise with this Phineas guy. Uh-huh. Sure. Everybody's got an angle. I'm just wondering what yours is. I knew a doctor like him once. He had a patient complaining of ankle pain, so he amputated the man's foot. Wasn't even the right one. Point is, good intentions don't count for shit. And nothing's more dangerous than a crusader with a cause. Besides, none of this is your mess, so why go dirtying your hands with it? Guess I hadn't looked at it that way. Still, Phineas isn't your only option. The board's put a bounty on his head, and they've got more than enough bits to pay it. I've got no love for the corporations, but they know how to take care of their people. The ones at the top, anyway. Don't think of it as being a lackey. Think of it as doing a job and getting paid really, really well. I know you want to save the day, but don't forget to look after yourself. No one else out here is going to. Hey, don't get any ideas. I'm just making sure you last long enough to pay me at the end of this. Anything else? It's like one of those stuffy art gallery pieces. Looks okay from far off, but once you get close, you realize it's just some mismatched shit everyone's agreed to overpay for. Even the bribes are overpriced. The real question is why didn't I leave sooner? There's all these invisible rules, and everyone spends all their energy just trying not to break them. I was a top-tier surgeon, but I could hardly open a pack of gauze without ten people signing off first.
Easy to say when you've never had to ask permission to take a piss. People call Byzantium the jewel of Halcyon, but really, it's just paste. Everything's polished and bureaucracy. Take a close look and you'll see it's deader than anywhere else in the colony. Don't trust anyone, don't touch anything, and whatever you do, don't show your teeth when you smile. People are extremely competitive about cosmetic dentistry. It can get ugly. Interesting like a colonoscopy. I trained as a surgeon. More my folks idea than mine, but I made the best of it. Yeah, well, we all learn sometime, don't we? I finally got tired of spending my hard-won skills straightening noses and firming up chins. Turns out Byzantines are more concerned with having square shoulders and a good profile than, well, anything else. That's what I've been saying. I've taken the liberty of having Sam...
Clear up some floor space. We didn't really need that crate of toilet paper, did we? Take someone to watch your back. Please. Do you mind? I'm meeting someone. Shh. No names, okay? The Phoenix is a wanted man and the board has eyes everywhere in Byzantium. Yeah, you're looking to make contact with Minister... Uh, Magpie, right? I should warn you, it won't be easy. He spends most of his time in this estate, which is heavily guarded. Afraid not. He almost never leaves his home, and his guards never leave him. Can't say I blame him. It's scary out of doors. I mean, can you even count how many times we've been shot at? What work specialists, huh? Our mutual friend is really branching out. Whoa, I'm not one of your B&E specialists. I just provide intelligence. Some of the guards hang around Billingsley's House of Inebriation between shifts. That place is still open? I used to study there during medical school. Maybe you could do some reconnaissance there. You know, swipe a key while nobody's looking. Just remember, you didn't hear it from me. I've always been fascinated by birds. If you ever research Earth species, there are thousands of them. So colorful and distinct. Here we got 11 flavors of terror rays and not much else. That kind of variety? I mean, gosh. Seems almost impossible. The other thing about birds, though, is their environmental indicators. Exactly. I started thinking about everything we see around Halcyon, and all the things we don't see. For starters, you rarely come across anyone living in Byzantium who wasn't born here, even though we get ships in all the time. Trust me, anyone with a lick of sense gets out of here as soon as possible. But most people don't. In fact, most people stay exactly where they start. Doesn't that seem strange to you? And then there's the way nothing gets fixed. There used to be a suggestion box around here. People would drop ideas in. Nothing ever came of them, of course. Sure, that part is. That's why they install shredders in those boxes, after all. But one day, the shredder broke. No one came to fix it. And since it wasn't working, we didn't have anywhere to file our complaints. So you can imagine how messy things got. 
I bet your repair folks couldn't find parts. Back in Edgewater, I'd have to take something apart just to put another thing back together. Might have been the paperwork. Here, you have to append forms to your forms, and law help you if there's a single dash out of place. At first, management put up an out-of-order sign, but that just seemed to worry people, like they were advertising something wasn't working. They eventually took the whole suggestion box sign down so that people didn't have any expectations about it. But they never fixed it, never replaced it. Doesn't that seem odd to you? The whole episode made me wonder, if they can't fix something as simple as a suggestion box, what else aren't they fixing? After a while, I got connected with our mutual friend and started using my position here to feed him information when I could. That's it, really.
Why can't something exciting happen around here for once? Nothing wrong with stability. It means everything's running like crazy. Don't you ever want a little fun? Hey, you. Yeah, you. Want to be famous? Fancy Creole's pipe plant. All of the many to be a model of a system? Not super accurate. I once treated a lady who got her hand caught in the gears. Idiot was more worried about her rings than her fingers. See, I can't believe it's not yours. It's unbelievable how good it is. actually took over the refinery. I can't believe it! And then, the chairman shot their space shuttle down with the Hammersmith grenade launcher. Incredible! Are you two talking about the new dissident hunter adaptation? Don't spoil it. I'm behind. You need to watch more it. You need to... Looking for weapons? You've come to the right place. Every Byzantine needs high-quality armaments, and you won't find better anywhere else. Come to do your part to defend our fair city. What can I help you find? Why, to defend their property, of course. 50-bit says he's got a heart on right now. Byzantium is the best of what Halcyon has to offer. It's up to us to protect it. Marauders, dissidents, especially large sprats. One never knows what threat might arise. Only because we make it so. It is only the fear of the well-armed Byzantine that keeps the rabble at bay. 
Indeed. Now, what are you in the market for, my fine friend? Razor's choice. It's not the best choice. It's not the best choice. I'm afraid I can't come down anymore, my good man. I'd have to request a counter waiver, and you know how dreadful the paperwork is. Don't I ever, my dear.
Rizzo's Lemon Slap. Slap your whole family tonight. All right, how does this sound? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to walk into you like that. Oh, my goodness. Ruth Bellamy? I think... Citizens, today marks a monumentous occasion in the course of Halcyon history. After a deep and thorough examination of our budgets, revenue streams, and predictive models, we are publishing our yearly success report. Profits are soaring. Promotions abound. Thanks to your continued hard work, Halcyon is healthier and more productive than ever. Once we nail down the details, I can't wait to share what's in store. For now, my friends, keep up the hard work. I'll sue every technician and employee who's ever touched this damned device. Don't they know who I am? This is all so very beneath me. Oh, for the good old days when you could simply ask a menial for refreshment. I'm on my legally allotted break. Really, I'm supposed to be here. My dear fellow, you've no idea how
Hey, 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 stand back, you. I'm part of Minister Clark's personal detail, and that means you gotta keep five feet back at all times. Of course not. <laughs> But I'm not on the job right now. The others took me out to celebrate on account of me just getting hired and all. <laughs> He's basically the most important person in the colony, which makes me the most important guard in the colony. <laughs> yeah. That means I got a key the minister's estate, my own personal UDL assist issued shotgun. <laughs> they don't give those out to just anyone. Yep, I've nearly made it to the top, my friend. I'm just two promotions away from on the job bathroom breaks. That's a great idea! I'll have a Spectrum Vodka. Captain, I can smell him from clear over here. I reckon he's had a fair number already. Sure have, cause today's my big day. He's got powerful good ears, too. And a powerful thirst. You, uh, you have a Spectrum Vodka for a new pal? Here's to me! <laughs> hey, you are really great. Have I told you that? You should be friends. <laughs> wow, listen to me. I'm soaked. <laughs> I should probably slow down before I'm face down on the tile somewhere. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I could, I could have another. You got another? Oh, um, he's, uh, medium height with, like, medium colored hair and, like, a kind of a medium face. Just like in his posters. Oh, you definitely recognize him if you saw him. He's very important. That's not every day you get your dream job, right? Wow, you've got like this crazy energy. Has anyone ever told you that? You're like a, like a manosaur. You got a manosaur energy. Oh, laws. I gotta stop. I'm seeing at least two of you. I really shouldn't. I'll have the worst hangover tomorrow if I don't stop. Nonsense. You've got another in you. Doctor's orders. Guess I can't argue with that. Yeah. Was that one supposed to taste like purple berry crunch? Or am I just tasting breakfast? I don't feel so good. I think I'm gonna be sick. Have you tried our new cocktail sponsored by Rizzo's? One part purple spectrum vodka, one part artificial tomato-like substitute juice. We call it a Blue Bloody Mary. Oh, by all means, ask away. 
I don't believe in work. Work is for auto mechanicals and lower classes. By auto mechanicals, of course. Byzantium's fleet of mechanical servitors are programmed to simulate a labor force, but without all the unsightly workers milling about. We all have our roles in society. I like to think of myself as an entrepreneur. This drinking establishment is my investment. Maverick Johnston's about to release his new picture. From what I hear, they've already started shooting. <laughs> 